All right, this is uh, Calculus 30, uh, Section 7.4, Applications of Trigonometric Derivatives. And this is question number seven in the textbook, in the Red Stewart Calculus textbook. It reads this, a wall of height eight meters, and that's this wall right here in the diagram, stands parallel to and 27 meters uh, from a tall building. So here's 27 meters, and this is just part of a taller building, okay? A ladder with its foot on the ground, so this slanted line in here is the ladder. Foot on the ground is to pass over the wall and lean on the building. What angle will the shortest such ladder make with the ground? So we're looking for this angle theta here uh, in order that this ladder here is to be the shortest possible. So you can probably understand that if we started way back here, we could have a ladder that would go like this, just over the wall and touch here, but that line is longer than this one. Now, somewhere over here, let's say, well, we could have a ladder that hits that eight wall and it goes all the way up to here, but again, that line looks a little bit longer than the one I've drawn. So, somewhere around here, this angle measure, somewhere around, you know, this angle measure might be the shortest such ladder. So, just randomly out of this diagram, this, you can kind of see that there is there would be an angle that would um, that we're looking for. So let me get rid of these other okay, pieces. Now, the tricky part about this, and this question is tricky, but what you want to do is uh, to make this the most straightforward possible is you want to make another line. Let me just try and draw another line right here that's parallel with the ground that is also 27, okay? Same distance from here to the building, right from there to the building. Now, why is this of benefit to us? Well, because we're working with similar triangles. This is angle theta as well, and it's the exact same as this angle theta. These two are exactly the same, okay? And what we can do is we can pretty easily express, because what we're trying to minimize here, right? We're trying to minimize the length of the ladder. That's what we're trying to minimize. And if we consider this ladder now as parts of two separate triangles, this could be uh, x and this could be y. So really it's the sum of x and y we want to be a minimum. So what we're trying to minimize is really x plus y. Now this is one way of doing it. I think this is the most straightforward way. So we are going to try and express x and y in terms both of theta. So how can we relate uh, x and theta and the given value 8 here for this little triangle? Well. This is opposite side, this is hypotenuse. So what's opposite and hypotenuse? That's going to be sine function. So sine of theta equals opposite side is 8 over hypotenuse is x. So x then is going to be equal to 8 over sine theta. And we don't really want to divide anything, so let's write that as 8. And what's that? Cosecant theta, I guess. Right, the, in the reciprocal of sine. Okay, so we've got x here is, is this now, so we've got L is now equal to 8 cosecant theta, that's what the x is, you see that's what we just did. And now we're trying to figure out what the y is. So similarly, let's use, oh, we don't have an opposite side, but we do have, what's this? An adjacent side, so adjacent and hypotenuse. Which trig function we're going to use there? Sure enough, that's ka, right? So ka toa. So um, uh, then cosine of theta equals adjacent side 27 over y. So y equals 27 over cos theta and y equals 27, what's that, secant theta. Okay? So again, I have now a representation for y. That's 27 secant theta. Okay? There are other ways to do this, of course. This is the most straightforward. So, um, anyways, if you go with this, now L is a function of theta. See that? And that's what you want. One variable, this is a maximum minimum problem. Uh, what angle will give you the shortest? We're minimizing the length of the ladder, right? Okay. So, uh, as we move on from here, now we'll take the derivative. So, L prime of theta uh, is, so what's the derivative of uh, cosecant theta? Well, the derivative of cosecant theta is negative cosecant cotan. So this becomes negative 8 cosecant theta cotan theta. Okay, that's the derivative of this right here. 
and we're going to add to that, and I'll just move down here the line, the derivative of secant is secant theta tan theta. And so that's, that's plus. So plus 27 secant theta tan theta. So uh, you'll either have to memorize what the derivatives are of this from chapter 7, or you're going to have, maybe your teacher will let you have a cute card or whatever. Um, in my classes, you may have a small cute card, right? So you can write the derivatives of cosecant and secant and, uh, you know, tan and tan squared and all that sort of stuff. You have that in your little cute card. Anyhow, once we get to this point now, we let this equal zero. So I'm just going to save some space here. I'm going to make this equal zero. Okay. And then what do we do? We go from there. So we try and uh, isolate here um, theta, which might be a little bit tough, but let's do this. 8 cosecant theta times cotan theta equals 27 secant theta tan theta. And if we divide, um, yeah, let's, let's simplify this stuff a little bit so you get, we're going to get 8 over 27 on this side. And we're going to get secant theta tan theta over cosecant theta cotan theta. So what does that give us? Well, <coughs> let's see. Cotan is just 1 over tan, right? Mm -hmm. So this, this part right here, if you take a look at this, that's going to be tan squared. Right? Secant over cosecant, that's 1 over cos divided by 1 over sine. So that's going to be sine over cos. That is another tan. Okay, so again, you can write all this in terms of sine and cos if you want. Um, you know, you can do what I just did. But that's going to equal tan cubed of theta. And so what we have is we have tan cubed theta equals 8 over 27. Take this, the cube root of both sides, and we get tan theta equals, cube root of 8 is 2, cube root of 27 is 3. Tan theta equals 2 thirds, and if you just use your calculator, this isn't on the unit circle, so, um, okay, now I, I did a similar question like this before, but tan, oh sorry, uh, scratch that, second function tan, <coughs> right, we're solving for theta, of 2 divided by 3, that's going to give us that angle, it's going to be 0.588, and of course we're in radians here, you see that? So our answer for theta is going to be 0 0.588 radians. And that is the angle that will give us, uh, uh, that will give the shortest length of this ladder here. So theta is 0.588 radians.